hello guys welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so today i'm going to talk about defect report in testing life cycle so as we all know that we have different stages in software testing life cycle like we have requirement analysis test planning test design test execution defect reporting and test closure so these are the various stages in software testing life cycle so we have already covered requirement analysis test planning test design test execution and today we are going to talk about defect reporting so guys if you haven't watched the previous videos then please go and watch those videos first and come back to this video so as part of this video i'm going to talk about what is a defect what is defect report or defect reporting and we'll discuss about what are the various reasons for which we used to get the defect in the application and what are the various fields are there in defect report template and at last i'll show you the real time template of defect report as well so let's get started so let's talk about first what is a defect so whenever we test any application guys whenever we test any application and if any functionality is not working as expected so that means there is a defect in the application so let's say we are testing any application where we have uh, let's say we are testing the login functionality where we have username password field and we have sign in button and while entering the user id correct user id correct password and click on sign in button we are not able to log in into the application so that means there is a defect in the application correct so there is a defect in the application because our expect expectation is we should get the login page uh, we should get the home page or we should we should get the uh, successfully we should be able to log in into the application correct now we got the defect now that defect has to be reported to the development team so how we are going to report to the development team correct so there are two ways we used to report to the development team so the first way is like some of the companies are using the excel sheet so there are various fields in excel sheet or you can say de in defect report template so these are the different fields available in defect report template which talks about the details about the uh, a defect when we raise a defect like we have defect id we have uh, summary of the defect we have status and we have priority severity like that we have various fields in defect report template guys which we are going to discuss in coming slides so this is one of the one of the way to report the defect to the development team another way is using bug tracking tool like we have jira bugzilla pr tracking so we have various tools available in the market using which we are going to assign the uh, defect to the development team so this complete process is called defect reporting and this template is called defect report template and we have the same fields in bug tracking tool as well like uh, it generates the unique id which is defect id we have summary of the defect we have to mention over there we have uh, steps to reproduce like that we have various fields in bug tracking tool as well which we are going to discuss in, in coming slides now question arises here is why we are getting the defect in the application so there could be various reasons so first reason could be missing requirement missing requirement in the application so let's say we are developing a website and that develop uh, de that website should have home page dashboard admin page let's say home uh, dashboard page is there admin page is there some other pages should be there and along with that we should also have about us and contact us page should also be there as per the requirement but while developing the uh, this website use uh, developer misses this contact us page so that means there is a defect we can raise that as a defect we have to raise that as a defect in the defect tracking tool or defect report template so this is one of the reasons guide another reason could be wrong implementation of the requirement wrong implementation of the requirement so uh, let me give you an example let's say we are developing a website the website name is abc.com and while launching this url we should get two buttons over here one is sign in page which is for the registered user uh, when we click on this sign in we should get the user id the login page user id password field and sign in button we should get the sign in page and while uh, clicking on this sign up sign up right and this is sign in sign in so sign up is for the new user for the new user so this is complete user registration page guys so what happens here is let's say while clicking on this sign up we are getting this 
login page only correct so this is wrong implementation of the requirement another reason could be while uh, getting the uh, why used to get the defect is misunderstanding of the requirement misunderstanding of the requirement misunderstanding or misunderstood the requirement by the developer so let's say as per the requirement in the application the logo of the application should be displayed the logo of the company or website should be displayed at the right side of the page in on every page of the application but what happens is while testing the application we got that the logo is displayed at the left side so that means miss this uh, requirement is misunderstood by the developer while developing the software they developed at this they developed this logo at right side of the pages right so we have to raise that as a defect so these are the various reasons guys we used to get the defect in the application now let's talk about more about the defect report like what are the various fields are there in defect report template and at last i'll show you also like uh, the real time template as well first let's talk about let's just recap like what we have discussed so far so if application is not working as expected we can report that as a defect in the defect report and what is defect report a defect report is a document that has concise concise details about the defects are identified what actions steps action steps make the defect show up like reproducible steps and what are the expected results instead of the application showing error while taking particular step by step actions so uh, basically a defect report uh, defect report is a document where we uh, talk about or different details about the defect we have to mention like defect id summary of the defect status of the defect and what what is the reproducible steps like uh, what are the actions which we are going to perform to get that defect correct defect reporting defect tracking defect reporting defect tracking def and status tracking is called defect management so the complete process is called defect management some companies using use manual process like excel worksheet which we have discussed and some companies use tool based process for defect management so some of the defect management tools like bugzilla issue tracker pr tracker and jira as well jira basically is a project management tool but uh, we used to we can raise the defects over there so it it's it's kind of complete project management tool so this is the defect report template guys we have various fields in defect report templates like we have defect id summary detected by the tester who found the defect detected date assigned to severity priority status build version so let's talk about uh, let me just show you the uh, real time template so we'll discuss about various fields in defect report template as well so this is the defect report template guys so here you can see we, we have various fields like defect id defect id is the unique id uh, which we need to make while logging the defect okay so here you, you can see defect underscore 01 so this is the unique id for defect 2 we have defect 02 defect underscore 02 so this is the unique id while logging the defect in the uh, defect tracking tool also it generates the automatic defect id when we log any defect in the defect tracking uh, tracking tool like uh, azira when we log in the defect we used to get the defect id now the second column is login uh, summary of the defect like what is the description of the defect or summary of the defect like login functionality is not working here i have mentioned like login functionality is not working and third column is detected by so who is raising this defect who raised this defect so here i have mentioned tester underscore a tester a found this defect and the date on which we got the defect and assigned to so assigned to initially when we raise the defect when the status is new so it is uh, assigned to that particular tester and when we open that defect so it should be assigned to any developer so here i have assigned it to developer underscore a developer a is assigned to this particular defect and severity and priority so here we have high severity and high priority correct so what do you mean by severity anyway i am going to uh, talk about them in detail in separate video but let me just talk brief about uh, what is severity and what is priority so when we talk about the seriousness of the defect so that means it is severe defect okay so like uh, we have to give some severity uh, severity to the defect like we have different uh, ranges like uh, uh, high medium low so if it impacts the functionality of the application so that means severe defect 
correct and we have to assign some values like high medium low so in this case we have login functionality so login functionality itself is not working so that means it impacts the impacts of uh, impact of this defect is very high uh, because it impacts the functionality so here we have given high priority because we cannot uh, move further for the testing what is priority so this is importance of any defect so this uh, this defect is very important uh, login functionality is not working so this is very important to fix by the development team correct Th so this is prior defect i mean they, uh, we should uh, assign this as a high priority defect because until unless if we don't uh, fix this then we cannot uh, move ahead for further testing right and the next column is status we have open state over here like uh, this is cur current state of the defect is open state now it is assigned to any developer now once developer is fixed this defect they will make it as fixed fixed correct now later on they will make it as retest retest means they will assign to particular tester so we need to retest that defect and later on once we retest we have to make it as closed if it is working fine closed if it is not working then we have to make it as reopen so there are various states, uh, states are there guys uh, for uh, for a defect which we are going to discuss in defect life cycle probably in the next video i am going to talk about defect life cycle next video i am going to talk about uh, priority and severity and later on we'll discuss about defect life cycle so that you can understand better and the next column is build version uh, so here this is the build which on which we have tested this application and we got the defect version 1.5 module is login module next one is uh, what is the environment so we have various environments like we have test development environment uat environment so for this particular defect we got on test environment so here i have mentioned as test functional defect type what are the what is the type of the defect so here we have let's say we have uh, uh, functional type or non functional or performance so we have various defect types as well so here i have mentioned functional type because this is related to the functionality reproducible reproducible whether we are able to reproduce this defect or not so here i have mentioned there are two values yes or no so here i have mentioned as yes because this uh, issue is reproducible sometimes it is kind of incident we are not able to reproduce that defect so we have to mention it as no but we have to take the screenshot in that case as well to give the evidence to the development team for further investigation reproducible steps so here we have given the complete steps like how we uh, got this defect so like launch url abc.com enter valid username enter password and click on sign in and what should be the expected result user should be able to log in correct after following these steps but what happens is user is not able to log in nothing happened when clicked on sign in button so in some some of the defect report templates expected and actual results are not there but in uh, some of the templates uh, the actual and expected results are there in the defect report template as well so after clicking on sign in button we should get the login page uh, sorry we should get the home page right user should be able to login into the application and we have at last comment column as well so if you have any remarks or comment so we have to mention in this particular column now let's talk about the next defect so here i have given defect underscore 02 logo of the company is not correct so the summary of the defect is logo of the company is not working which is uh, detected by de tester 2 and on this particular date and assigned to developer c and this is the priority and severity so here we have low priority and high severity guys so why it is low uh, low severity low severity and high priority so why it is low severity because it does not impact the application uh, functionality correct so that's why that's the reason i have given as uh, it as low and high priority because logo is very important right that represents the company that logo so if it is not correct so that means this is that is high priority defect that has to be fixed as soon as possible and uh, this particular defect the status of the defect is closed so like that we have to mention the status as well this defect has been fixed and closed and uh, we have build version we have module here you can see the environment on uh, we got in uat environment and defect type is functional like this so this this is what uh, about the defect report template guys we have various fields in defect report template 
so if you have any questions related to defect report please let me know in the comment box and in the next video we'll, we are going to talk about priority and severity of a defect so thank you guys for watching have a nice day bye bye